Okay, what's up dudes? And dudettes? <laughs> Maybe, possibly, I don't know. Um, I haven't posted on YouTube for quite some time. Um, I'd like to get a little more professional in my camera. Uh, I'm just filming like everybody else does from their phone. Um, it's a matter of if it's still on a tripod or not. Um, it's pretty ex still even still I'm pretty excited about this mill um, if I had to do it over again I probably wouldn't choose this mill but it's what I got and it's what I had um, so I retrofitted it if you look at my other videos um, it's just a round column grizzly um, it's yeah, it's been a long process. Um, I'm stuck on this mill, but uh, kind of in the back of my brain, thinking about financing a Tormach. I don't know that I need that, but um, I kind of implemented the tool, you know, the tool aspect of it. Um, you can see there I have a several ER third or. Uh, ER11, ER16 stuff. Um, I'm not done yet. There's more that I'm going to add to it. I just I like having all these collet, but I've married them to. This obviously has one three quarter collet, and it has um, your draw bar up there, of course. But eventually, I'm eventually going to. Uh, I'm, I don't know if I will get to it or not. Um, probably going to do a, a draw bar. Um, you know, I'll just have a pedal down here. Uh, it's air operated. I have a cylinder that I have conical washers on the draw bar bolt. Um, then I can basically hit a foot pedal. Um, I can see it. And then I'll drop, drop the tool out and then change out whatever and re-offset it. Um, you know, there's a lot of things on this thing that I wish I would have done, but I never did get to it. Uh, but it served its purpose for what it's doing, so I'm just going to leave it at that. But what I was going to go ahead and... Uh, we'll shut this light off so there's not a glare. I was going to uh, comment on uh, the video on YouTube. Lots of stuff I, I would put on Facebook and, and whatnot, but uh, but just doesn't seem to share uh, the appreciation, if anything, at all. Um, I mean, it's kind of a cobbled mess at this point, um, but it's what you don't see that doesn't hurt you, so I eventually, I've been saying that for a couple of years, is hide all the wiring and all this stuff here, but... Uh, Lots of the stuff was just uh, meant to just put on there to uh, um, try it out and make sure it worked before I finalized it and then just never finalized. So that's just kind of what happens. It's just called life. So I uh, dug some trash out, or some stuff out of the trash. This, is, was, this was a mill light. It was in the aluminum bin. Um, it's got several points of articulation if you could say uh, it was supposed to be a 12 volt uh, deal but I didn't have any 12 volt power supplies to uh, power the amount of amperage that the bulbs that I had I wanted to put like a 55 watt in there bulb but you know 35 to 55 but it didn't want to seem to power all the power supplies I had so I went and looked and uh, just wired up to 110 and found uh, found some bulbs on eBay. It was like from China, of course, like everything. If it wasn't for China, I wouldn't have half the cool shit that I have, in my opinion. But um, so I ordered 10 35 watt bulbs, 110 for like four dollars and 36 cents. So those are going to be on the way once I can pop one of those in there and then I can implement this light just like I have that one up there um, 
but basically another one that I I have added to this has always been kind of an ass ache I'm gonna drill and tap these bolts a little better this is a geared motor I forget the ratio but it had basically dug it out of the, it was dug it out of the trash actually another employee brought it to me and said hey you think you can use this and I'm like yeah I think so um, come with the motor controller it's a variable speed and it's reversible so what I ended up doing along with uh, these couplers I have a whole pile of them I dug them out of the aluminum bin as well um, I'm still at the leisure of I've got to loosen up the oh well, it's already loose but I've got to loosen up the column uh, there was another mod that I was going to do was you know if you raise this column up in cycle or if you've got it indexed on a workpiece or whatever the case uh, if you loosen that up and you move that up and down you'll lose uh, you'll lose your X and Y index so there's a, a several mods that you can do to kind of alleviate that and retain your position within a few thousands uh, but I personally haven't had a need to uh, implement that so I just haven't done it so basically what I thought was pretty cool was turn on I'm gonna go down uh, I'll loosen this just just so there um, we'll go down but I've got a foot pedal down there with this I can index up my uh, my column or down in this fact uh, but like I said it's just a geared motor uh, that's so cool to me I uh, guess it's fairly slow but honestly for the duty cycle that I'm doing and it's in house it really I mean it doesn't take long at all to get where I need it to be um, before I had a I had a bracket built that came off of here and I had a coupler with a drill and I would slide a, a battery in there and move it up and down accordingly so I'm trying to keep the camera not wobbly because I've seen complaints on YouTube and um, so in order to please everybody I try not to wobble my camera um, so that was down now we'll go ahead and flip it back up foot pedal um, As you can see, it doesn't really take that long to get where I need to be. Uh, that to me is so cool because, as you know, if you're dealing with a round column mill, this had a hand crank to begin with. Then, like I said, I, I put the freaking drill on there and that was okay, it worked just fine. Um, but I like convenience and that seemed like I was exerting more effort than I needed to be. Uh, you just try to take the pain in the ass adjustments and make them user friendly on your end is all I'm trying to do but that's pretty much all I want to show is the fact that I have the round column gear motor um, oh and then I also have the automatic or automatic sorry automatic oiler um, that's been like huge because I already had it plumbed for everything's been when I did the CNC conversion I plumbed it for uh, ball screw and X and Y ways on both uh, axis uh, so I had already been plumbed uh, just hadn't got oiled for quite some time um, so I bought that it was like 45 bucks off of uh, eBay yeah it's a China China product but I can tell you one thing it works very very well and it's been a game changer for me because uh, the fact that I can 
just throw a time frame and intervals how much it oils it works very well so that's pretty much it um, yeah not much going on like I said I've been using the crap out of this thing um, doing lots of uh, engraving this one here isn't to my liking so I'm gonna mill it down and redo it but it's my own personal stuff so it really don't matter but yeah I've made pallets so to speak of steel that I dug out of the bin um, I can index this as a aluminum pallet I can loosen the vices I got a thing that clamps this I got several bolt patterns for valve covers and other different items that I can just bolt down and uh, index it and zero it all out and run a program so that's about it just wanted to show the oiler and the uh, gear reducted uh, I guess you could call it a Z quill or a Z head movement I don't know but like I said we have six and a half inches of Z quill in reality but lots of times you got a real tall workpiece you just kind of have to uh, open that gap up so yeah I think I'll be done Thank you.